Uh, welcome back. Awkwardly, since I already recorded three episodes of another thing, Original Rumble, today, I'm only going to be recording two episodes for this sitting of this game. Triple A batteries. I need to buy some triple A batteries. I'm pretty sure. I thought I had more, and then I then something needed them, and I just looked, and I couldn't find anything. Okay. Where, how are we seeing this guy? Are they looking out the window or something? <laughs> Couldn't even have a nice animation. I think he had an animation back in the Game Boy version. Some things did not get upgraded. Anyways. Oh, look at all that 3D! Looks so fancy. I still do think they go a little too crazy on the graphical effects, actually, for the projectiles and whatnot. I think it actually makes it harder to, uh... Oh, I guess. I guess I'm not supposed to go through that. I think it makes it harder to, uh... See some of what's going on. I hate how I have to... Tap the screen for that though. I mean, so many times, right? Uh, it bounces around too. That is even worse. I noticed that it bounced around, but I wasn't sure you actually had to click directly on it. It was okay for you to just. I still think on the whole I like laser the most, even if it's charge attack is not as good anymore. And the, the level design is definitely different now. They definitely did not copy the level design of the original. I'm just gonna think of it as the original at this point. I know I'm capable of tapping the heart. I'm just gonna leave my cursor down here if you don't mind. I think I can set those things up, can I? I don't think so. Not really ghosts, so... I don't think I can. I really wish I could just instantly get health from these things. Yeah, I actually have to... I don't get much health either, my god. I feel like they give you a lot more in the... Other game. But you get lots of these too, apparently. There's still two dimensional stuff. Whoa! You got different attacks now. Did push me to the left, or did I do that? Well, what happened? That's not supposed to happen. I actually picked up uh, another type of... Uh, whoops. Another type of weapon. Yeah, I go down a level if I die, but that, that's all that happens. That was not the correct polarity. Oh, good job. I did actually my health to zero this time. In the GBA version, I'm pretty sure that my health would actually fall down to zero in that little scripted loss there. Anyways. Oh, okay. As I was about to say, uh, I'm pretty sure this will see a cutscene here. 
Uh, this is a very different uh, location than the last time we did this minigame. Hopefully these minigames aren't as tiresome this time as they did last time. Uh, I'm not given much reason to expect it's going to be any different, but... As far as I can tell, points don't do anything, so... Hey guys, can we pick this up a little bit? I am playing on hard, right? I'm pretty sure I tried to play on hard. This is not feeling hard. Yet. Is the oh that one palms out on me? Oh. Yeah, those women really hard on you. Like, jeez. A really slow start. Yeah, this isn't feeling as hard as the. Uh, unless I just got better at it, which I guess is possible, but. This doesn't feel as hard as the GBA version was. I mean, in general, not just this particular challenge. This particular challenge that I got pretty far on. This is a fun idea, it just kind of dragged it on last time I did it. God, these homing ones, I don't expect them to home in on me. It's just that bullets from particular enemies will just home in on me really hard all of a sudden, unexpectedly. One thing to dodge a bunch of bullets in a big mess of bullets is another thing to uh, ah, dodge a bunch of bullets of a certain color. If you mix in the homing bullets, this is making it really hard. Yeah, just trying to dodge a certain color of bullet in this this is a lot harder. But again, these the homing ones are really killing me. I, 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 there's no way of knowing that they're homing bullets until they actually close to you and then they hit you. Jeez. Anyways. I still have points. Again, that was a significant portion of my current points. I want to check real quick. Are we on hard though? I'm pretty sure the game should let me restart. I'm going to be very angry if I just like skip that cutscene permanently, but I don't think it's going to be what happens. Yeah, we're on hard, supposedly. Okay. Yeah. And they made this nice 3D model of this place and everything. You can't even walk around in it. You can't even wall jump around it or anything. Having Danny on a, on the DS in 3D without being able to wall jump just doesn't feel right. Look at this camera work. Fantastic. Also for some reason the box goes is here. Yeah, the supposedly better or it's just from mid range. I never was sure what the difference was between this and the thermos. I cannot see the bullets up here.
Come on. Yeah. Me too, huh? Make sure I get all the right kinds of enemies here. There we go. I know I can tap the thing, it's just I have other things to do sometimes. Yeah, tapping it out. That, I almost got a lot of health very quickly there. Don't help. These really don't heal me much. Oh, hold on. I want you. No. Oh. I can't tell what which health meter is yours versus someone else's. I have a lot of hard time. Or, geez, me and my words sometimes. I have a much harder time picking out ghosts in this game. It feels like than in the one before. Serious multitasking. Having to switch polarities and attack things. And sometimes worry about picking up ghosts and also clicking on. Ah! Clicking on the wrong window. Sorry, you, you couldn't see there, but I uh, actually clicked on another window. Everything disappeared. I could not see the game for a second. Hey, you're pretty weak. Darn it. No! No! Oh. The, it's really hard to not keep hitting things with the laser. But why can't I set those things up earlier? Ugh. It's causing the 3D environments. It's just you don't have to do anything. Anymore. Press play. Just press the B button. Cool. Well, I'll give it a shot. I'm pretty sure it's just okay. It's, it's fancier graphically now, but other than that, yeah, it stuns them. Anything else comes up if you don't skip that, but I just want to try to get that one ghost again now. Those are the melty ones. switch stuff back when I stress that I wanted to uh, get the laser here. For the most part I like the laser, it's just... It seems difficult to catch ghosts with... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I pressed, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the pause emulator button by mistake. But uh, we have some time to think now. There we go! That was the one guy that I missed um, the first time I played through the game. I wanted to get that guy. Oh, 
where, where is my cursor? Where am I? Eh. And this is a, such a pain how to switch to the touch screen. I'm really gonna do anything that I want last. There you go, please. Does it still go through walls? It does. Okay, that's good. That's something at least. I hate having to tap on those though. Seriously. Why does that mean? Let me use a button or something to activate those. Well, I didn't even realize that they're. That's weird. I didn't realize that there were green obstacles in the way there. That's kind of weird. This is not as dangerous actually grabbing a power up anymore since you can actually switch back to what you had before. But. The way I have to contort my fingers in this game sometimes to use both hands on the keyboard and then also the mouse at the same time is uh, not fun. Why is the background for these heart things green in the overworld? Hold on. There we go. Did not get that guy again. I didn't get the uh, melty guy. Charge. I didn't find the melty guys though, annoyingly. So I need to catch them. I think this laser pushes you back if you use it. Yeah, it actually does. Huh. Yeah, so use the laser charge tag to get pushed to the to the left by it. I kind of just sort of boxes with that too. That's rather really satisfying. All right, but again, still need to make sure we catch everyone. Oh well, well. I'm gonna be sad if we get a bonus stage right now because I kind of want to stop. I ate dinner. And... Oh! Respect my dinner game. Ugh. I don't know if you can go back to bonus uh, stages if you restart the game. Okay, just survive three minutes, fine. Zero out of zero. Good job. I can't even see ghosts in the background too, coming around. It's kind of nice. This game's nice enough to give me uh, a lot of abilities too. I can switch to on them if I if I need to as well. Ah! Do they still come from the left like that? That's just mean. I have no way of knowing there's gonna be something coming on the left. It's not longer to charge at this game than it does in the other version. Oh. It's so hot here, I don't feel like, but... Ugh, I think I ate more than half of that. Just now, unfortunately. This stuff around the left is really bugging me. Oh well. Guess I'll have to go eat dinner. 
So I don't know what these points do. They didn't do anything in the last game, but whatever. Alright, there we go. And now a cutscene, but we'll actually just quit for the moment. Okay, I might play this with a proper controller later, I'm not sure. Of course, I need to choose between a keyboard with keys that don't always work quite right and the controller with buttons that also don't always work quite right, so I'm not sure which one's actually better or worse. Anyways, so this game will be similar but not the same, apparently, as the, the Game Boy version. I'm curious how what other differences we'll see. Especially the, the post-game content, that's what I'm most curious about right now. And what things you might or may not get for um, playing the Ghost Gallery. Kind of don't want to look too closely at the Ghost Gallery because I have a feeling that what's going to happen is I'm going to see that they do, do or don't have the same bosses. I already found this guy though. Oh, those are just. Yeah, so that's the one that I found at last in the other one. Still missing some, some ghosts here. I don't have the Melty guy. Got the Chill Ghost. For the most part, we should be able to catch everyone, I think. Let's see these the boxers. Yep. Yeah, so we're miss still missing plenty. I know there are other pages, but I don't want to s accidentally see what the post-game bosses are or anything, even though they're probably the same, if I had to guess. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.